Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my mini facial, like a DIY facial in the house. Right now, I'm actually on holiday in France. So I'm, <laughs> this is actually a hotel room. I'm not at home. But this is the perfect routine if you're looking to give your skin like some more TLC, like more than what you normally do. You can do this like self-care Sunday kind of thing. Grab like, you know, watch YouTube videos when you're doing all this stuff because it's quite long, but it's really, really good for your skin. So if you want to see more of that, then stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys all the steps and why I do them. I'll give you guys tips, of course. So because I have a bit of makeup on, very light makeup, these days I just, I don't do a lot of makeup because with fading my scars and everything, I've found that I can actually just use powdered foundation which is a lightweight and then i use concealer and stuff so i'll show you guys my new makeup routine but it's very simple so this is a uh, micellar water from garnier it's a small travel size which comes in handy if you're traveling like i am so i'm just gonna use a cotton pad and wipe the makeup off Now that my makeup is off, I'm going to be using my cleanser for my next step. So this is my favorite one right now. This is the Garnier Gentle Clarifying Foam. I use a lot of Garnier products because they're affordable and they're very effective. So on the acne.org regimen, um, basically they were teaching you how to lather your cleanser before you apply it on your face. It activates the foam, which is what cleans your face really well. So always try to like lather it on your hand as much as you can before applying on your face. The next step after this is going to be exfoliation. So this happens when I'm not using my chemical ex exfoliation. So I like to just use a physical, like a scrub, just a, basically a scrub. And um, I don't know if it's just me, but I like scrubbing my face when it's not wet, but just moist, but dry. So <laughs> I don't know if, if you know what I mean, but there's no water on it because I feel like um, the particles, I'm able to work with the particles a bit better. So my favorite ones right now, this one has, um, eucalyptus extract, zinc and salicylic acid and this one has salicylic acid and charcoal so it's up to you the best thing about these is that it's, it's like a three-in-one you can use it for washing you can use it as a scrub and a mask so I'll basically be using as a scrub and a mask and then I just apply it as I'm scrubbing like I'm exfoliating like this so I basically work section by section mask scrubbing it's good to exfoliate once in a while because it helps to just lift off the dead skin cells on your skin and also helps you like if you have hyperpigmentation and all that stuff you need to be doing a lot of exfoliation to get rid of like those scars the scars and just let your skin like generate new cells so you can either use physical exfoliation which is what i've just done or you can use chemical exfoliation so you can do some research and see which one works better for you um so now that i've done that i'm going to use it to let it sit and just yeah lift off all the dirt in my skin so it's i'm using it as a mask basically and because it has charcoal it's known for like lifting impurities from your pores and reducing the size of your pores and all that stuff i mask three times a week because it's so important in just like detoxifying your pores so just add that into your routine three times a week and this like something like this is very very affordable so you can just get yourself and then make sure you're taking care of your skin so as this is drying up i'm gonna go maybe watch a youtube video chill drink some tea whatever so yeah i'll be back it's like super dry so i'm gonna wash it off and the best thing to when you're washing it off is always just like apply water and help it just um become soft before you start like trying to take it off again you have to reduce the amount of irritation you're applying on your face so be as gentle as possible that's all i'm trying to tell you be as gentle as possible Thank you. 
So basically those beginning steps were just to cleanse your face, get rid of any excess dirt and oil. Now we need to reintroduce moisture into the skin. So it's now, we we'll start with the layering of products. You know about the, the Korean 10 step process, you have to start with the lighter products and then move on to the heavier ones. So my first step is always um, toner. I heard this in a travel thing. I got this from Miniso. So I put in here rose water from Maria Bodescu. And I've been using this Bodescu. I can't remember, but I'll put the details in the description box. So this, I just use and spray it on my face. It helps to rehydrate. It feels really good. Even on the plane, when your face is so dry. This thing is really nice. I've been using also the pure, pure, what is it called? The Witch Hazel by Thayer's which is very popular because it's nice and gentle and it's also very good for like giving your skin moisture. So that's what I've been using, but I forgot to carry that one. So I have this rose water by my Bodesco and that's what I'm using as a toner. Also with this kind of steps, it's good to let your product sink in before applying the next one. That's why it might take some time, <laughs> but yeah, it's a good, it's a good thing to do. You just let your product sit in it, especially the serums and the toners and all that you need to, and the essences as well. So you need to let them sit in to your skin, just for your skin to absorb it. So my next step from there is my vitamin C serum. So this, as you can see, it's a bit thicker than the toner. So it's a little bit thicker than the toner. And this is vitamin C serum from Rather Beauty. So I'll use a few drops because with this a little goes a long, long way. So that's on my face vitamin c is very good for hyperpigmentation so if you're one person who's struggling from with acne scarring and you're trying to get rid of all the dark spots and everything get yourself a good vitamin c serum one that has good reviews the one i'm using now is not the best to be honest so i'm searching for like better sits vitamin c serums just to see <clears throat> i think i need something that's a little bit stronger than this one this also has um, hyaluronic acid which is really good for giving your face like that plump look so yeah, making your skin look youthful and all that stuff. Next step is going to be my mask. This is the second mask. So a sheet mask is very good for moisturizing. So if you do the double masking where you cleanse your face using like a charcoal mask, and then after that you use a sheet mask that just puts in moisture into your face. Like this one is a Hydro Bomb by Garnier. I'm sure you've seen these ones that like <laughs> extremely popular. They're so, so popular online and everyone's like saying how good they are. So they're going to be, I think they're retailing now in Carrefour and other supermarkets for 280 bob For dry and sensitive skin, one mask is equal to one week of hydrating serum. It's going to open this. It has like a serum that's very gooey and sticky. You know that feeling when you apply a product that your skin loves and then instantly you can feel like... Your skin feels so, so good. I think I've used this like um, probably four times now and I actually really like them. I know I look crazy in this thing, but yeah, 15 minutes, I'll be back. So it's been about 20 minutes and I want to take this off. But I can actually feel so hydrated already. I will take that off. Oh my gosh. Wow. It says to massage the excess product into your skin. To me that looks like enough to let dry so it's going to take maybe about five minutes for it to dry and then from there i'll go on to the next step so remember what i told you you need to let your products sit in before layering on, or going on to the next product sheet masks are basically infused with serums that which become like your serum step um if you don't have a serum you can actually use a sheet mask as a serum but you have to be careful some sheet masks actually ask you to wash the product off for this you don't have to wash your product off it's supposed to stay on your face and from there, my next step is going to be moisturizer. And if you're confused about the 10 step routine or the Korean skincare method, I'm just going to leave for you guys a video that can explain to you step by step why you do what you do. And again, I just use the Garnier um, Oil Control Complete Moisturizer, this one, because it helps with like excess oil. I'm a very oily skin girl, so I need something that can block the oil, reduce reduction, production of sebum and all that stuff. Then the last step, of course, eye cream. You have to be very gentle around your eye area because the skin there is very, very sensitive. So 
the best way to do it is to just lightly tap on your eyes don't don't be rubbing too much you know? so the next step after that would be using an oil i don't have my oil right now but i like the using the rosehip oil um it's good if you have hyperpigmentation you can also use um jojoba oil which is really good because it's it sort of mimics the natural oil that your skin produces so jojoba oil is really really good i mean there's so many different oils so you can do research and see what oil what's the best oil for you so that's basically it that's my entire routine my face is always feeling like really really good after this and if you do this three times a week or at least twice you can start with twice a week trust me your skin will be so grateful for everything you've done so these days i don't even use acne.org um i use it just when i'm feeling like okay i have a few um upcoming breakouts so i've completely ditched the acne.org because it's very drying on my skin so now i'm just trying to get my skin balanced to get rid of like acne scarring here and there you know and hyperpigmentation and of course like just keep your skin looking very young and youthful and yeah just basically that if you don't forget to use sunscreen if you're doing this during the day right now i'm not I'm gonna be going out so i'm not gonna use sunscreen so yeah i'll show you guys an up close of how my skin looks right now I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned a few things here and there it's very important to take care of your skin trust me like if you don't do it you're gonna regret it when you get older and then it's gonna start showing on your skin so if you really want to have amazing skin it's just always about the routine that you have and what you're doing consistently of course on top of that is eating healthy avoid like drinking too much alcohol and just living a healthy lifestyle in general it really really shows on your skin so i hope you enjoyed that video if you did thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and any details you're looking for just check in the description box i'll leave everything there thanks for watching guys bye